Well, good morning, Rocky. My goodness, how's the boy this morning? Hey, hey, I gotta go someplace, so I'll see you after a while, okay? Yeah, stay right there, okay? I'm Mr. Sam, Sam Gillespie. I'll be back in just a minute. A little friend of mine, oh, back in the 1950s, um, he was doing some work for me, and um, he couldn't um, he couldn't pronounce my last name. So he said, uh, uh, "Can I call you Mr. Sam?" And I said, "Yes, you can." Uh, from 1950s on, well, I've been known as Mr. Sam. Here's the uh, Rock of Ages farm, and I've uh, been out here most of my life. I've got the original 160 acres that. George Collins in the land run, uh, April 22nd, 1889. And I've still got that 160 acres, prettiest farmers part of the country. <laughs> of course, I'm a little bit prejudiced. I've um, been volunteering at the Round Barn for approximately 18 years, and I've loved every year of it. But I, I always spend Mondays, all every Monday for years, I've only missed one or two Mondays in all the years I've been doing it. Driving on Route 66, we know we're meeting people from literally all over the world. I'm just one of, of probably around 12, 15 uh, people that, that are, we're trying to keep the round barn open. It's uh, sometimes it's pretty hard because uh, we, the only way we make any money is to sell a few souvenirs. Well, hi, everybody. Hi. Hey, good to see you all this morning. I'll tell you what, I'm going to tell a story or two in just a minute. Would you all like to come in and join us? Sure. Well, all right. Yeah. Well, why don't, come on in. We'll just, uh, we'll start right inside the door here. <laughs> the barn was built by Mr. Oder in 1898. It's a hundred and what, 115 years old, and uh, it's still standing. Had cows and horses, all these were pins all the way around. Uh, he put his loose hay upstairs that he cut down there in the bottoms, and uh, they would just, or down here they'd have mangers, and so you can just kick the hay down and feed each cow that you wanted to. He knew that the wind blew very hard down here in, in Indian Territory, so instead of building a square barn with a flat side on it, the wind could hit that and blow it down. I'm going to build a round barn. And so that's why he built a round barn. The wind can go this way and this way. That actually is why he built a round barn. All right, now, the town of uh, Arcadia started in 1902. Now remember, the barn was built in 1898. The Katy Railroad decided they needed a railroad from Oklahoma City to Tulsa, so they went right across Mr. Oder's farm and everybody else's farm down the road. Mr. Oder told his wife, he says, you know what, this might not be a bad idea to have a railroad going across our farm for this reason. See, uh, he raised beef cattle and he shipped them to the eastern markets like St. Louis, Chicago. And so he said, why don't we donate 80 acres for a town? We call it Arcadia. And if we have a whole bunch of people living here, we can build a train station right over there on the railroad and the train will have to stop and pick our cows up right here. So that's what happened and it worked out real good. Now, two years later, there were so many people living here that needed a bank. So Mr. Oder built- The round barn would not be the same without Mr. Sam. He's the storyteller for the barn. At the end of our parking lot, you'll see a Red Rock building. That's the old drugstore. A block north of that is the old bank building. It, it's hard to describe him. He's, he's energetic. He was 31 years old at the time. Look at all that hair he had. But look what happened to him when he got to be an old man like me. He lost his hair and, and lost his hearing. Now, I've still got a little bit of hair, but I've lost hearing in both ears, got hearing aids on. I still have seen it, what'd you say? But that's all right. Hey, I'm an old man. <laughs> He tells the stories because he lived them. The only thing to do uh, back when I was a kid was to get in the car and, and go driving on Sunday afternoon for an hour or two when we would come down Route 66. Of course, I didn't stop, but Daddy would look at it and, you know, we, we'd drive by it real slow. It looked real good back then.
My name's Joe Baxter. He's not getting my best side here. We meet every second Sunday, and, and it's an open acoustic musical gathering. Uh, folks from uh, all over the state, and we've had folks from all over the country. I like to give everybody a chance to come in and play. It's perfect for folks who, who don't get to play out much. Uh, it's perfect for folks who've been out of music and want to get back into it in a real low-key, fun environment. All the sailors with their seasick mama hear the sirens on the shore singing songs for pen with tailors charge ten dollars at the door yeah, and, and, and the pros we have some really really good musicians when this barn was built there was no electricity so mostly you're going to hear country folk bluegrass uh, some blues I call it Americana. All you got to do is walk in here and sit down in the chair, and there's no telling what you're going to hear. It said the angels will sing upon whiskey wings. It's the devil makes you do what you feel. What makes this special is that this is a historical shrine almost. And, and this is this is the mother road. Uh, I have relatives who homesteaded on the wagon trail that they built the mother road out of. Well, I can say I belong to the highway. Some cliche about here and gone. Actually, the upstairs was a meeting place, really. And uh, every Saturday night, Mr. Oder hired a band up there. They had dances for 20, 30 years, I guess. And people would literally come from all the little towns to go to the dances up there. Ah, but you'd never leave your 3,000 square feet home on subdivision hill. Ah, I've talked to people who, who's uh, and whose relatives, whose ancestors actually played music in this building. I think we're evoking the spirits up here. I really do. Uh, I, uh, I get a feeling when I'm playing music up here that I don't get any place else. But by 7 o'clock, Mr. Roder said there wasn't a place for another wagon or buggy or horse to be tied up anywhere around the barn. Everybody had a great time. After the dance was over, some of them came to Mr. Roder. Mr. Roder, are we going to get to come back next Saturday night? He said, well, I don't know. Do, do you want, want to come back? Yes, we want to come back. So he never put hay up here again. He put it in his other barn. And every Saturday night till Mr. Roder died, he put a, had a barn dance up here. So literally hundreds and hundreds of people have danced in the round barn of Arcadia. Isn't that a great story? Thousands of people come just because of the round barn on Route 66. All I do is, is uh, greet the people as they come in and, and uh, ask them if they would like to hear a story or two. You could drop a pin on this side over here and that person over there could hear it. Because There's never been a bad person come through that door over there. Now some of them might have, have a frown on their face, so if you will. But before they leave, they've got a smile on their face.